What's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment dates popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Today we are starting the day out at South Georgia Motorsports, and we have my very good friend here, Darius Anderson. Touchdown like the end zone. You guys gonna go check him out on YouTube if you guys have not already. He does. Or right, why don't you go ahead and tell him what you do? Yo, alright, so I do dirt bikes. I ride dirt bikes, I ride dirt scooters, alright? I ride them just about every day. I do, I do crazy challenges, um, taking them to school, the drive-throughs, riding them through town, even at the track for the guys that like the dirt action. So I just try to mix it up a little bit and we're riding dirt scooters all day, every day, baby. So guys, today what we're doing, we're actually here to pick up a few dirt bikes because we have to take these dirt bikes to a private pond. And in that private pond, there is a jet ski that we're going to attempt to catch some big bass on. So I guess we got to see what dirt bikes I'm riding today, right? You got to yeah, go yeah. pick them up? Let's go get them. You ready? All right, let's go. Never gonna stop, never gonna stop. Going to the top, Kobe with the shot. Cooking like a pop, yeah, that shit is hot. Popping like a kernel, I was never tired. CBA, never say, I've been on my ground for seven days. Need a race, but it got to never be the same. DBA, this is the TBA, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, All right, well, that was pretty cool, guys. Obviously, I'm a fisherman. You guys are really good at riding dirt bikes. Sure. I think what we gotta do is combine the two, take the dirt bikes to this private pond, take them to the jet skis, and go catch some big fish off jet skis. That would be pretty crazy, right? I think that's the plan, bro. That'll be dope. We All got right. A little pitter action, and now we can go catch some monsters. Oh, <laughs> snap. That sounds good to me. Let's go ahead, guys, grab all our fishing gear, pack up, head to the pond. Let's go. So we're driving, guys. We are in the absolute middle of Georgia. Just, we're in farmland right now. Super cool. I can't wait to go back on this plantation. Darius was telling me that he walked out there, saw like 20, 30 fish swimming, and he didn't know if they were bass, bluegill, anything like that. I would assume bluegill. And guys, this will be my second time riding dirt bikes ever. So I'm super nervous, but I think it's gonna be worth it when we get down to the pond on this plantation with a jet ski and try to catch whatever swims, whatever will tug the line. Hopefully a big bass will be what we're after. All right, we are at the point now where we have to hop on the dirt bikes to get to the rest of the way so we can find this pond. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the green one. Darius has got the venom. It's go time. It's go time, baby. Let's go it. time, let's go. So it turns out, guys, we didn't even need to drive the dirt bikes down here because the sand is actually dry. Normally, it rains a ton out here, apparently, and a lot of times you can get your truck stuck back here. But we took the trucks down, we got Darius, we got the jet ski, and this is like a full on beach, dude, for a pond. This is absolutely beautiful out here. I think it's gotta be spring fed. That or the water is just abnormally clear. Absolutely beautiful spot out here. Let's see if we can't see any fish swimming, actually. I don't even need polarized glasses for this. This is easily like the clearest pond I've ever fished before, like the water out here. Literally looks like air. Has to be like a private spring fed pond. I can't wait, I can't wait. We gotta get this jet ski in the water. <laughs> Dude, no. Dude, my truck is gonna get stuck. <laughs> There's two trucks that pull you out. I don't Three, care. Three, four trucks. You got four-wheel drive? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got to put my boots on for this one. <laughs> you think we're going to catch anything, Darius? Dude, I already know. Last time I was out here, bro, man, I had a whole buffet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the real question is, are both of us going to be able to fit on the jet ski? Uh, I'm on that but you get in the back. <laughs> All right. So Darius is like terrified to bring his truck down because it's two-wheel drive on all the sand to get stuck because this isn't our property. So what we're gonna do is the four of us are gonna try to lift this jet ski up, put it in the water, and go catch fish on it. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen, you guys. I just knew it. <laughs> Two-wheel drive is not the move. Wouldn't be a Fishing Norm video without something going wrong, so. You ready? All right, let's go. Where you wanna go? You wanna go like to the left or to the right? I wanna go sh to the right, to the right, to the right. Alright, alright. That works with me. Actually to the left. To the left? Yeah, to the left. Yeah, we can start over there. That works. Alright guys, we're at our first spot. We're out here in the middle. I have no clue how deep it is or 
really if there's any big fish in here at all. There's fish, baby. There's, there's fish? fish? There's fish. Let's yeah. catch them. <laughs> Let's try our best not to hook each other and little rascals this baby. So I think I'm gonna start out with the uh, speed worm out here in the middle. Actually, you know what? We're gonna start out with the spook. Guys, this big old top water walking bait, no clue if it's gonna work. It is pretty cold outside today. Maybe it'll call something big up. Dude, this really is crazy because I don't know if there's like 10 pounders in here or if like the biggest one's a two pounder. I have no clue. I don't even know if I should try standing up too. I feel like I flipped the thing. I'm, I don't have a low center of gravity to put it, <laughs> to put it simply. Dude, if something eats this thing top water, I'm gonna lose my mind. Hey, what's the trick to this thing? You throw it and you reel it. That's literally it. Okay, okay, I can do that. And then if that doesn't work in like 10 minutes, I'll tell you something else on. But yeah, you got that rattle trap, that thing, you just, you can catch anything. You can catch a crappie on that, a bass. Sometimes like even a big bluegill will come try to smack it. Oh, 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 you have one? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh my God, dude, you got me so pumped. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first one to catch a fish out here today. Watch. You probably will be, dude. I got this massive lure on here. I doubt anything would even come up for this. Damn, I sure hope you got it on camera. Oh, yo, I got one. I have one. No! Yeah, I got him. I got him. I got him. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. No. Really? Uh, yeah, 110%, dude. I promise you. Damn, I thought I was gonna be the first one. <laughs> uh, I didn't land him yet, so. So yeah, that option. Also, they just got a big old shot of my, like, pale legs here. Sorry, everybody. Oh, I see the little fish swimming in the deep end. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one hundred percent. Oh my gosh, dude! Hundred percent. Like I wasn't even moving it, and it was just doop, doop, doop. Oh, that's a fish. Got him. Oh, dude, that's the third miss. Like I, I don't have any leverage on him because I'm like, what you doing? <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's so hard on the jet ski because you can't drive the hook into him. You know what I mean? Like I hate fishing sitting down, but I know if I stand up, we'd probably flip this jet ski over. So. Jeez, that is a third missed hook set for me. He's there though, he might come back for it. Yep, that's him again. He's gone again. Oh, look at that, he's got it, ready? Got him, got him that time. Let's go! Oh, dude, he might even be better. Oh, dude, this feels like a good one. Oh, okay, here he is, here he is, okay. Okay. Ah! <laughs> yes, first fish on the jet ski. Look at that, dude, that's a beautiful bass right there. Dude, that thing looks clean. Look at it, he's actually, he's missing a ton of fins on the top as well. Guys, check that out, jet ski fish. Let's go. I told you I was getting bites. <laughs> Let's go. Man, we caught a fish on the freaking jet ski and we are getting close to these trees. Yeah, that's where they're gonna hang out too, bro. There's no structure out like in the middle, it seems like. And they might be just swimming along the banks, eating little bugs that fall out of the trees and stuff. All right, guys, we are gonna take the jet ski to the other side of the pond right over here. Apparently, that's the good side of according to the guy who lives out here. So we're gonna power this jet ski up, get to the other side of the pond, and maybe tie Darius on like a worm or something because right now he's throwing, oh geez, right now he's throwing a rattle trap. I thought that would've got bit by now and it has not. So tie him on like a fluke, worm, something like that. All right, let's find one of those 10 to 12 pounders, dude, that he said he's caught out of here before. Let's do it. Maybe we should just let it sit. Cause I remember seeing on SpongeBob where they were just sitting at the bottom, <laughs> and then until somebody wanted to like SpongeBob yanked on it. Guys, so we're tying on Darius a uh, a fluke right here, which I think is gonna be perfect, especially because the water's super clear out here. It looks like a real live bait fish. All you gotta do is twitch it like one, two, three times. You, like count to like five, wait for the, and then let it sink a little bit, and then twitch it a couple more times. All right, there you go. Solid. Thank you. Rigged up. I'm still gonna toss around the speed worm a little bit. Oh, ah. he came up for it. Oh, you got him. Let's go. Oh, dang oh. it. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks like I'm getting bit, maybe. Yep. Got him. There we go. Oh, he came up. No. Okay, at least he wasn't like crazy big or anything. I have the wrong type of line on this one. It's a mono and it stretches a lot, so it's harder to get the hook into him. Kind of goofed up on that. All right, Darius, we need you to get one. Hey, I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, look at that, dude. Something just ate on the, the bank over there by the tree. Watch this, you ready? Probably about to catch one right here. Yo, look at that. Got him. Oh, that was such a cool, oh my God, I can't set the hook. That was wait such a, a minute, cool. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Throw your lure in there. I gotta try that. <laughs> yeah. That fish probably won't come back, but if there's another one back there, he probably. Oh, oh yes, Darius, yes. Bring him up. Oh, there's more, there's more. There's more behind him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Come on, get He's off the Oh, it's a nice one too. Let's oh, go, Larry! Let's go! Let's get it! <laughs> let's get it! <laughs> yeah, I got you. What you talking about, son? Oh! <laughs> I might even try to see if there's another one back there. You'll see that, right? Uh 
Yes, dude. Through the trees as well. What a catch. Oh, look at that. There's another one swimming. Look at that. They're back here. Yeah, I'm gonna try standing up. We're gonna do it. We're gonna see real quick. Hold on, you ready? I'm probably gonna sit down, actually. <laughs> that does not feel too safe. All right, whatever you did, do that again. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Oh, dude, there's a fish swimming right there in the shallow water. Oh, got him. Oh, yes. Oh, dude, again. The Yes. It's a line, dude, I'm telling you. It's too stretchy. I got mono instead of fluoro on here. Yeah, like four or five. This is not my day. They're up in that stuff, though. Like, they're up there. All right, guys, this is the last run. Got the top water on. Head to the other side of the pond. Hopefully, something big will eat. So hard to fish on the jet ski. Like, crazy hard. It's a lot of fun, too. Come on, digging. Oh, I just had one. Oh, he's still on. Oh my dude, I <laughs> it's so hard to look at that. Friggin' got my lure all tangled. <sighs> it's okay, don't get mad. I got this. Oh yup. Got him. In the tree. Oh, oh that's so much fun, dude. I love missing fish. Let's go. I was like literally in that tree and just missed my hook set. Dude, that is cr I haven't been this. I'm like two for like 15 right now on uh, fish bites. You know, some days you just have those days, and today is one of those days for me. All right, guys, the sun is uh, going down quite quickly out here. I had so many cool opportunities to catch some fish, and my hook set game has not been on point today. So I'm hoping we'll catch one more thing before the sun goes down. That would be really cool. Dude, it is so hard to fish off a jet ski. You wouldn't think because you can't stand, you have to sit down. They're jumping in there, dude. They're... I already know if I came out here in a boat, I had like my tackle box. Dude, we would be, we'd be having a field day on them right now. Oh, look at that. Dude, what a day. What a day. Dude, that is like fish miss number 22 today. Well guys, the sun is going down and unfortunately, this jet ski fishing challenge is way tougher than I thought it was gonna be. We still caught fish, I'm happy about that, but I've also missed more fish today than I have in the past like three months. It has been bad. And I think it's because I put mono on this, it was like a topwater rod and I'm trying to set the hook on a jet ski where I can't set the hook too hard or else we'll flip. I'm getting the bites out here, just not getting the hook set at all. All right, we are packing up the jet ski. That was such a tough challenge, but this place was absolutely beautiful. Had a ton of fish that were willing to bite, so I really want to come out here again with Darius. Make sure you guys go check him out and subscribe to his channel. Like, what a crazy challenge. It was so hard for me to set the hook. I was getting, like, kind of frustrated. We had two big blow-ups on top water and also probably had 20 bites on the fluke. But I have monofilament on here, which, as you guys know, stretches. So, I mean, you live and you learn, but we're definitely coming back out here, guys. Leave a like if you guys want to see us come back and try to catch some of the big fish that we know swimming here, like the 10 and 12 pounders. And, uh, yeah, until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here. Oh! Oh, it's a bass, dude. He's barely hooked. Dude, he's barely hooked. <laughs>